How's it going guys and welcome to Dad Quest. I got my official dad outfit on. I got my, my daddiest sweater, uh, a cool hat that's got these these badass flaps on the side. I felt like felt like that seemed like maybe a, a cool dad bit of attire, something that might embarrass you a little bit to be seen with. And then dad like glasses that, <laughs> that don't have lenses in them. I think it's a pair of 3D glasses that I popped the lenses out of. I don't know guys, I'm in a I'm in a fucking mood today, I guess. I guess that's all that's going on. I'm I'm just I'm being an embarrassing dad like figure. Take a look at this child. I mean really look at her. That's that's a good that's a good hard look. Is it my child? Hard to say. Give me give me a second look. She's cute, she's rectangular, and she's got gumption. You always you wanna make sure you got a child with a lot of gumption. She's indestructible but lacks guidance. Is she indestructible or is it just like, you know, how kids kids kind of think that they're indestructible? And without guidance, she's got no moral foundation to speak of. No core at all. I want a kid with core. What am I doing raising a kid with no core? This fucking, this fucking hat's getting in the way and so these earphones don't have like a perfect seal so I can hear myself more than I'm used to hearing myself and it's, it's messing with my head a little bit. Uh. Now watch this. Oh, there's a man with good core. Good hat, good mustache, incredible. The transformation is just beautiful to watch. Wait, that little, that little girl is going to grow up to be a, a, a bushy mustached man? This dad has changed everything. Oh, just having the two of them together is the transformation? He's helped shape her into the best weapon she can be. But in doing so, he too has changed. Wait, why, why am I changing her? Why am I shaping her into a weapon? Is that my quest? Is that my is that my dad quest? Is to make my child a, a weapon? Nice, nice shorts, by the way. I, I'm, I'm liking the shorts. Isolated. This dad is just an ordinary person. People are flawed, but dads, dads have strong feet. They're sturdy, ready to take on the world's challenges one step at a time. I mean, his feet are only like two pixels. They're like little, little itty bitty tiny feet. I think he's got socks on. If they were real strong feet, he wouldn't even have socks on. He'd be barefoot. <laughs> nice strong feet. <laughs> or or he'd have socks and flip flaps on. Flip flip flaps on. That's a classic dad move. You could be a dad too. I'm I'm most of the way there. I got the the attire the best I could manage at least. I I, I don't know if I have the mental fortitude to be a dad just yet. One day. Oh. Oh, so I'm not there yet. Strong feet? That's the only dad characteristic I have right now? Ooh, and I'm really good at doing a backwards run. Why doesn't he change the direction he faces? He just... That's great. Okay, right on. Let's let's pray to the, the weird baby angel altar. Save the game? Uh-huh. Alright, perfect. And where are we? This, uh, this is the hospital? It seems oddly futuristic. Ugh. This is taking too long. <laughs> hey, I, I get to I get to run around, but these stupid doctors just have to kind of hop and float around. There are way too many steps to becoming a dad. Isn't there some sort of shorter way? It, are you a, a? I thought you were a lady doctor. You just got a, a man bun. Are dads allowed to have man buns now? That seems like there's a distinct age cutoff where that just really shouldn't be a thing. Uh, oh, I guess that's all you have to say. Dad, dad doesn't have anything to say. He's just gonna lean back in the door like a cool guy, like a cool dad. Dads are the number one best leaners on earth. Everybody, everybody knows it. You don't need me to tell you that. Hey, yo, <laughs> you must be the next candidate. Is that right? Oh, maybe I'm trying to be upgraded to being a dad. Right now, I'm just uh, your average Joe looking to become a dad. You got it, <laughs> Yepperoni. Ye Yepperoni. I'm gonna be like a, a, a Ned Flanders level dad. Yepperoni, huh? I guess you do seem adequately dad-like. Kinda short though. Well, I guess it's not really my place to judge. I'm just the secretary. So, uh, welcome to the start of your dad quest. He's the secretary. He's got some nice glasses. I want. I want a set of goggles like that. I should be wearing cool, cool science goggles. Now you can boast about the cool, important work that I do. As you probably know, in order to become a dad, you must overcome a number of challenges. So to just get right to it, let me see your hands. Just gotta make sure you got big burly hands. Dad hands. Your sweaty dad hand. Is that, is that a, a, 
a defining feature of a dad is a sweaty hand? I feel like it's more about the firmness of their handshake. If you ever meet a dad, a, a new, if you if you meet a man and you shake his hand, then it's, you, you, you might you might have like a half decent handshake. Everyone's everyone, everyone kind of figures it out at a certain point. You learn the difference between how hard you're supposed to squeeze someone's hand. But then you meet a dad. You meet a dad, even if he's only been a dad for five minutes, and he can crush your hand into a fine powder with just with just his index finger and his and his thumb. That's how you know it's a, a dad. It's about the, the his grip strength. So I, I I don't I don't want sweaty hands. I don't want I don't want my hand slipping off as someone else's hand when I'm trying to shake it. I need I need dry as a bone hand so I can fucking crush people into oblivion. Alright, so the basic brain functionality, at least. Maybe you have what it takes after all. Well, the exit's right over there. I think he was probably admiring my my rant about how, how a dad should have a, a good strong handshake. Type your name into that number pad and prove why you should be a dad. Good luck. Oh, almost forgot. Here's your dad gear. It's an essential piece of equipment for any dad. <laughs> Press tab key to open it up. Oh yeah, I want to, oh. All I have is the hand. The hand is my only piece of dad gear right now. Your sweaty dad hand. <laughs> Shit, I was hoping I had like, some cooler gear than that. All right, let's 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 pump, pump our name into here. Enter your last name. Probably, probably dadder. Dadderton. I think he's, is, and then I, I need a first name as well. Oh, is it? Do I only get the one name? I want to be Randy. I want to be Randy Datterton. <laughs> so I guess right now I'm just Datterton. We'll just leave it at that, I suppose. That's I guess that's good enough for this medical professional. <laughs> I can't actually push the box. I can just lean. Probably because my hands are so sweaty. Once I get some nice, dry, strong hands, I won't have to just lean. I'll actually be able to push things. I'm going to talk with you, but I'm going to face... I'm gonna face the same direction as you. It's it would it'd be a little bit too intimate for two men to look each other in the eye. We're we're dads. We need to be removed and and, and distant. I'm a big fan of saying nothing and letting people just learn on their own. Ah, oh, this guy's he must already be a dad. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Oh, you're just not going to let me just learn on their own? Are you a fool, man? Look at that giant gap. Don't you know that dads can't swim? Uh, I'm not sure if I remember that from dad camp. Don't they teach you anything in dad school anymore? <laughs> well, I, I actually skipped dad school. I went to dad camp. It's like a new alternate learning thing. It's They found that dad school maybe wasn't teaching everything that that dads need to be knowing. So you send them out into the woods for, for a couple of years to fend for themselves. And you live in the woods with other dads, potential soon-to-be dads. And it, 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 they, they found that it, it helps people retain information better. It's, it's a more hands-on learning approach. Dad school wasn't doing it. Phew, good thing I was around. I'ma let you across now. But no, now you know that you can't swim, right? No, no, the point's not really getting across. Good! <laughs> okay, oh, well... I was actually just gonna jump into the water just to see what happened. Whoa! That was a hell of a ledge grab there, Dad. I kinda wanna do it again, because I, I was just trying to double jump. Ooh, yeah, I like the way he looks back when he does it, too. Everyone, look how strong I look while I grab the ledge over here. Yeah, showing off. Wow, oh, you made it, bud. Nice job. A dad needs to be both physically and emotionally strong to survive out there. Emotional fortitude involves never showing emotion, ever. Always be as stoic as possible. That is the number one most important part about being a dad. <laughs> I got a stupid little side story for you guys. My dad is actually like a very uh, serious person. When when you meet him, you get to know him. He's funny. He jokes around. He's a great guy. Love my dad. Uh, but the first time my girlfriend met my dad, she like, you know, it, it takes a while to get used to the guy. And so she just thought he was the most intense man that she had literally ever met. And later on, me and my brother were talking about like a particular joke or a story or something, and we were like, "Oh, Dad loved that one. He'd lost it. He was he was going wild." My girlfriend stepped in and was kind of like, "That was your dad losing it." I think he cracked a smile and maybe kind of exhaled. 
that's 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 my dad losing it but when you when you live with him you you get to learn the scale right and in my mind that was just he had just heard the funniest joke of his life but to someone who doesn't know him it seems like he was just unfazed that's the that's the kind of dad quality you need you need that uh that complete unreadability <laughs> Below you, you can hear all of the dads who have been emotionally destroyed by their own inadequacy crouch down onto your knees and listen to them weep. Once you truly understand their suffering, the gates before you will open. <laughs> There's just... what the fuck? That's really weird. I mean, I guess I'm pretty sad. But what's our purpose in life, really? There's... There's like a young, I like that guy's dad sweater. He's, he's, he's got a very nice dad sweater. There's also like several women down there. So, I mean, they're, they're gonna be failed dads, I guess. It's, it's pretty hard to be a dad when you're a woman. I was hoping all of them were gonna have things to say that they'd all just be talking about how sad and inadequate they feel, but I guess, I guess all the other ones are, are keeping it to themselves as, as they should. Oh, some shit's going down. Ooh, raising raising kids up on a podium. Wow, choosing a child. This is a this is a big decision. Well, I think I'm gonna have little Billy, little Billy Datterton. <laughs> Name your child, <laughs> Mary Huey. <Lee. laughs> Yeah, giving giving your your son a woman's name is a good way for them to build character, to build a strong core, as it were. I think you want them to have two women's names, so that they can they can build as much character as possible. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Kathy Sue. My son will be Kathy Sue Datterton. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you coming with me, Kathy Sue? <laughs> I guess he's he's been living in a weird tube for a while. His legs are probably a little numb. I gotta carry I gotta carry him. Hello, number sixty-three. Looks like you've made it through our first set of challenges. Crazy how many dads end up overcome by grief by their own shortcomings, but not you. You're physically and emotionally stable. Nice. Alright, anyway, so you have a child. Listen to me say that. You have a child. C-H-I-L-D. A child. One more time. A child. Please, do you understand the gravity of this? Yeah. <laughs> Good, because this makes you a dad now. You get that. You passed. Congratulations. Now, as a dad, you gotta learn how to work with your child. Think about it like pressing some buttons or clicking a mouse or something. Any trivial thing such as that. I mean, life is like a game, right? You can throw your child... Wait, back. Pump, pump the brakes. Back. Wait. You can throw your child with left click and swing your child with right click. That's all that shit about making your child do a weapon? Oh, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor, you get it? But is it... But it is a, is it a metaphor, or am I actually just throwing my child and swinging them around? Oh, okay, let's try something else. Maybe being more literal will help. Literally, you're playing a video game right now. Imagine that. <laughs> you press the left mouse button to throw your child. That action's got a ton of uses, like in a video game at least. Combat, exploration, whatever. It's a video game, and the child loves it. The uses are endless. Now, alternatively, you press the right mouse button to swing your child. That is mostly for combat, but it has a couple of other uses too. It really engages the child's core. <laughs> you gotta make sure you got children with nice ripped cores. They gotta have fundamental emotional strong cores, but also physically strong cores so that you can use them like a baseball bat. So make sure to do it often. It's good for them. That's that. You got it? I got it. Perfect, now wipe that I did it look off your face and get into the room over there and use right click and left click to whack around some pigeons. Pigeons are the bane of existence. Always remember that. Fuck pigeons. I've always known, but now I have a- Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, Sue. What the fuck did I name him? Kathy Sue. Sorry, Kathy Sue. That was- Didn't mean to throw you at the wall there. It's like- It's like playing- Playing a fun game with your kid. Wee. We gotta go higher, higher, Dad. It's so fun. It's it's great. <laughs> fuck, fuck me. This game is the best thing I've ever played. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. This is incredible. Holy shit. Look at this. This is fucking the best. I was already sold on it because of how funny the running backwards thing was. Oh, it's because I was supposed to be changing the direction I was facing. 
with the mouse. Am I cl collecting like pigeon dust or something? Is that what that is? Your child, you love them very much. So much that you're just gonna huck them around like a fucking football going for going for the Hail Mary. Maybe I should have named him Hail Mary. That would be that'd be a good thing to name name a child. A nice a nice dadly thing to name your child. Well guys, I'm pretty stoked to see more of Dad Quest. This game has exceeded expectations. And I, I, I'll, it remains to be seen if I'm going to commit to wearing this dumbass shit. I just, uh, today in particular, I thought it would be funny. It might not be funny to me tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.